Cancer Awareness Month, which is an annual campaign to increase the awareness of the disease. While most people are aware of breast cancer, many forget it. To take the steps to have a plan to detect the disease in its early stage and to encourage others to do the same thing. Remember those lost, Shawnee Football would like to recognize Shawnee's own Linda Haycock, a survivor who is at the center of the field. Please give your attention to Linda. to thank Coach Carpenter for asking me to be here tonight. I would also like to thank the administration for allowing me to have a few minutes at the beginning of this memorable sporting event. Several years ago, a tide of pink began to roll over the country during the month of October to bring awareness to breast cancer. I indeed am grateful to be here tonight, standing before you, hoping to do just that. I was diagnosed with breast cancer six years ago. One in eight women will develop breast cancer. In fact, it is hard to meet anybody that has not been directly or indirectly touched by breast cancer. There are many in the Shawnee family that wear the scars of breast cancer or have lost their lives to this disease. Since I am not alone in surviving breast cancer, at this time I would like to invite all breast cancer survivors in the audience to stand and remain standing to be recognized. Can we please express our love through applause? Thank you so much. Although October is specifically Breast Cancer Awareness Month, and both football teams are sporting pink on their uniforms this evening, I would like to do something a little different. Breast cancer seems to be a, get a great deal of public attention. However, many people survive other types of cancers that are not so easily put in the public eye, thus leaving survivors to face their journey alone being overshadowed by breast cancer survivors. Cancer is cancer. Cancer can devastate and destroy people's lives. I would now like to ask all those individuals who have survived any type of cancer to stand and remain standing and to be recognized. Thank you so much. Since one in two men and one in three women will develop cancer in their lifetime, it is inevitable that everyone will, someone, will, will develop cancer or develop cancer themselves. Together, we are in this battle against cancer. So I'd now like to ask everybody to stand, and I would like to take a minute to remember our loved ones that have lost their life to cancer by a moment of silence in their honor. Thank you so much for taking a moment to remember your loved ones. This evening, it is my desire to express my gratitude to the entire Shawnee community, and particularly these young athletes who will be wearing pink tonight at the game, for it publicly declares sympathy, compassion, and strength 
but most importantly, it gives us the greatest gift of all, hope in a brighter future. Thank you so much for your attendance tonight. Enjoy the game and go Indians.